to be a part of improving good governance, mm -hmm. we need to show that we are also transparent and accountable. There is an NGO act that we must abide by with the requirements set out in that act and the Companies Act as well. Uh, so what transpired, as Ms. Salam and other members of the committee have mentioned repeatedly, is that the, the NGOs who participated in the process were the ones that were certified in good standing to participate in this process. There were a few that maybe didn't file their papers in time, and, and I am a little disappointed about that for them, because I would have wanted them to be involved in the process. I, we have mentioned repeatedly that there are 140 plus registered NGOs, and it turned out that only 29 were, were able to file their papers and get in good standing in time to participate in the process. Now, I, I, as we have mentioned several times, a first order of business will be to organize the community, to work with them, to find out what to find out why the others are not in good standing and help them to get there. Because we, we, will, we will have to work with them. We will have to represent the entire community, which covers a whole lot of areas. Just within the 27 or 29 NGOs that participated in this process, there are a huge number of areas of work and, 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 and needs and other issues that they represent, that are represented, right? So I, I would say that it is accurate to say that that small percentage contributed to making this decision. But um, we will be representing the senator and the support structure that will, be, that will be put in place will be representing the entire community of NGOs.